Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to the HN Rewind for today. And we have a few interesting things. So we have Hellstrom, the TV show on Hulu, the Marvel show, getting an official casting announcement. Also, we have rumors supposedly from MCU Cosmic, which has been pretty reliable about Marvel things in the past. But according to them, we may be getting a Nova movie sooner rather than later. And then last but not least, for the John Wick fans out there, it looks like we're gonna get more advancements with this John Wick universe in the form of a TV series. So that'll be pretty interesting. And yeah, let's get right into the first one, which is all about this new Marvel TV show called Hellstrom. So Hellstrom's an interesting show because it's gonna be on Hulu instead of Netflix because that partnership's basically over. And it's not gonna be on Disney Plus, but it's presumably gonna be introducing the son and daughter of a mysterious and powerful serial killer. And these siblings have a complicated dynamic as they track down and terrorize the worst of humanity, each with their own attitude and skills. That's the general description. The main actor will be Tom Austin, who is in Grantchester as Damon Hellstrom. And he's described as a professor of ethics who moonlights as an exorcist. He has no illusions about saving the world he has no patience for. He just hopes he can help a few of the people closest to him. In his battle against a hidden world, Damon is determined to root out demons as they arise and will not stop until they're vanquished. Now, his sister, Anna Hellstrom, is played by Sidney Lemon, who is in the succession and fear of the walking dead. And according to the character description for that, by day, Anna runs a successful auction house and suffers no fools, but her true interest lies in hunting down those who hunt others, or hurt others, my apologies. Traumatized by her father as a child, she is driven to rid the world of those like him, even as she secretly worries her father will return. So those are the two main leads for this series, and then just getting into the other characters but not reading their bios as well, we have Elizabeth Marvel from Homeland, she's playing Victoria Hellstrom, we also have Robert Wisdom from Ballers and Watchmen. He's the caretaker. Then we have June Carroll from Mindhunter. We have Ariana Guerra, who is in Raisin Dion, which I heard is actually a really good show on Netflix. And last but not least, we have Alan Un, who plays Chris Yen. And he was in Paper Tigers for those interested in that. So it seems like a pretty interesting cast here for the Hellstrom universe that they're gonna be forming on Hulu. Unsure exactly how closely this will tie with the MCU since we know the relationship between Marvel Television and the Marvel Film Studios section is rather tenuous at best with them not necessarily communicating all the time on what's going on, even if they are aware of exactly what the other is doing. Now, so moving on to our next piece of news here today, we have Nova Movie, I guess news if you want to call it that. Technically it's more of a rumor at the moment, but MCU Cosmic has been pretty reliable for most Marvel things as their name kind of harkens to. Now, according to Jeremy Conrad, who's the editor in chief of MCU Cosmic, he says that in the phase five films, Nova will be announced alongside of things like Blade, Black Panther 2, Captain Marvel 2, and Fantastic Four, which is really interesting because they haven't officially announced Fantastic Four will be coming in a future MCU phase, even though it's presumed, of course, we're gonna get Fantastic Four as a huge IP. But that's gonna be really interesting. Not really sure how they may backdoor pilot it now that Xandar is kind of TKO'd due to Thanos in Avengers Infinity War. But definitely leave your thoughts down in the comments below how they will bring back Nova and potentially Xandar and as a whole, the Nova Corps. And moving on to our last piece of news today, for all the John Wick Universe fans out there, you may be aware they're making a spin-off called The Ballerina, which was teased a little bit here and there in the latest John Wick film, John Wick Parabellum. And it looks like that film finally has its director in the form of Total Recall and Underworld director Len Wiseman, which is a really interesting choice in my opinion. I'm not a huge fan of it, but he's also directed the pilots for Lucifer, Swamp Thing, uh, Hawaii Five-0 it seems like, so he's not all bad, even though I say Total Recall, it's not the Total Recall you're probably thinking of. So. All things considered, I'm pretty excited about it, but leave your thoughts down below. What do you guys think about this? And which piece of news is your favorite of the day? Let us know down below. For me personally, while I am really excited for the John Wick stuff, I'm much more interested in a Nova movie because at this point, I'm a little curious, are they gonna do Sam Alexander? 
Are they gonna do Richard Ryder? Leave your thoughts down below and we'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching our video. If you guys liked what you saw, please like and subscribe, share with your friends and consider filling out the survey in the description below. It's just some stuff for us to find out ways we can better make our content, whether it's the lighting, the camera, you know, the audio, the video, whatever it may be, we wanna make the best content possible for you guys here at HN. So just fill out the survey if you have a chance, let us know, put in the comments, things we can improve upon. And we hope you guys liked the video. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Let us know what you guys would like to see next time. And we'll see you guys later.